Hi, welcome to Yogi's Home, where I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Today is gonna be my very first cooking video. And while I planned to make something really nice and healthy for the first video, something like a main meal, you know, a dinner or something, I realized today that I have some pears that are going that are going soft and like they're not so great anymore. And I have a fantastic recipe for a really nice, light, delicious, um, kind of like a like a pear tart or like a cake that's easy to use or easy to make. Easy to use, it's easy to eat. Hum, hum, hum. Which is the most important part, right? <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and make it today and that way I have a nice little cake for a little snacky snack or, you know, sharing with a neighbor or a friend, someone that comes over for coffee. And speaking of which, if you would like to see this video, then come on in, kick off your shoes and stay a while. I'm really glad you're here. So, I'm gonna show you what I got, how I do it, how I start it, and then I'll show you the, the recipe, okay? Ready? Let's do it. The first thing that I always have out when I'm um, cooking or baking anything is my little composting bin. That way when I peel stuff, I can just immediately put it in here and it's mess free. Um, I have my mixing bowl. I have a grater because we're gonna be using some zest, um, lemon zest in this today. These two bowls are bowls of butter. Um, this recipe calls for a cup of butter um, at room temperature and I just don't have the time or the patience to wait for my butter to get to room temperature so I just went ahead and shredded it, grated it, it's already warm enough, it's perfect now. We got some four eggs, some white sugar, some flour, this is salt, some vanilla aroma. Um, I don't have the real stuff, that's okay, we'll make do today with the aroma. Some baking powder, a lemon, which I've gone ahead and washed because um, I'll be zesting this later so I want to make sure that the lemon is at least clean. And I have um, five pears. The recipe calls for three to four pears, but since they are getting kind of gross, I'm not sure how much of the, each pear I'll be able to use. So I think the five pears, I'll be able to use them all up. Um, I have a peeler, it's a potato peeler, but it works great also for pears. I have a knife, a cutting board, um, a strainer, which I will use as a flour sifter. I don't have a specific flour sifter. I don't think that that's necessary when this thing works just great and I don't need an extra thing in my kitchen. If you have one, great. And if not, that's fine too. Um, and then I have my KitchenAid mixer. And then one other thing is I always keep, this is an e-cloth. So this one is already damp. I use it for any spills. I can just go ahead and wipe right away. And then I also have a dry towel just like to, for wiping my hands for whatever and then my computer for the recipe. So that's my setup, and I realized I forgot my measuring cup, so I'm gonna go ahead and get those now, and then uh, let's get started. So when you're zesting a lemon, you want to ensure that you get the skin, but that it stays yellow. So not this color, but this color. And then your zest is nice and sweet and fragrant, and it gives that like delicious flavor and not the, the bitter, yucky flavor. All right, so my oven is on, preheating, and I have my spray pan. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray my pan and then just with a paper towel, just kind of 
rub it around so that it's all nice everywhere. Okay. Hey, okay, so our cake, tart, dessert, whatever you wanna call it, it's in the oven and it's gonna go ahead and bake for an hour. So that's quite a long time, but the pears are gonna do their thing. They're gonna, oh, they're just gonna, it's gonna be delicious, I'm very excited. But we now have an hour to go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set the timer on my oven and like set it and forget it. So here's this, we're gonna let it cool for a while. Um, one thing I am gonna do though before it completely cools is I'm gonna run a knife just along the edge here so that it doesn't get stuck. Um, I'm sorry for the background noise. That's my one-year-old. She's going through a little thing of toys. Oh, poor baby, she's sick. All right, so that's it. Let's do that and then I'll check back in when, um, when I can show you what the finished product looks like and we're gonna cut into this baby and give it a bite. you can really get that lemon and then the pear just gives it so much of the moisture like it's just it's lovely it's just a really lovely light cake so I'm glad that a I have this cake to eat now and B that I used up the pears that maybe I would have thrown away because they were not edible in the shape that they were so what do you think of my first cooking video how'd I do can you leave it in the comments below what can I do better what did you like? And, um, well, yeah, I know you shouldn't, you know, chew when you're talking. That's maybe step one in terms of manners, but let me know what you thought. And if there's any recipes that you want me to try, leave them below and maybe I will. So yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for coming over and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.